Did you know that over 2,600 years ago, an Indian sage named Sushruta revolutionized the world of medicine? In ancient India, long before modern technology, Sushruta performed complex surgeries, from intricate plastic procedures to early cataract removal, demonstrating expertise centuries ahead of his time. Known as the father of surgery, his groundbreaking work was meticulously recorded in the Sushruta Samhita, a comprehensive text detailing surgical techniques, instruments, and human anatomy with remarkable precision. Despite his monumental contributions, Sushruta remains a forgotten genius in the annals of global medical history. How did he master such advanced procedures in an era without modern tools? In this video, we delve into the lost wisdom of the Sushruta Samhita and explore the innovative methods that enabled him to heal and restore life. Join us as we uncover the legacy of a pioneer whose work laid the foundation for modern surgical practices, the birth of Sushruta and the origin of surgery. Over 2,600 years ago in ancient India, a brilliant mind emerged in the field of medicine, Sushruta. Born around 600 BCE, he was not just an ordinary physician, but a pioneer who transformed the practice of healing. He was a devoted student of Danvantari, the divine physician, who is considered the god of Ayurveda in Hindu tradition. Under his guru's guidance, Sushruta gained profound knowledge of Ayurveda, which encompassed herbal medicine, diet, and overall wellness. However, unlike most healers of his time, Sushruta saw that not all ailments could be treated with herbs and prayers alone. In those days, diseases and injuries were often seen as divine punishments, and treatment mostly relied on spiritual rituals and plant-based medicines. But Sushruta observed that in many cases, internal damage, deep wounds, fractures and deformities required more than just herbs. They needed precise surgical intervention. He believed that surgery was a crucial part of healing, and with careful methods, the human body could be repaired, reconstructed, and even restored to its original form. Recognizing this, he dedicated himself to the systematic study of human anatomy, surgical techniques, and medical instruments. He categorized different diseases and treatments, and sought ways to enhance surgical precision. His quest for knowledge and innovation led to the creation of the Sushruta Samhita, a monumental text that laid the foundation for surgery and remains one of the most advanced medical treatises of the ancient world. The first ever textbook on surgery, Sushruta Samhita. Sushruta was not only a master surgeon, but also a meticulous scholar who believed that knowledge should be preserved and passed on. Unlike many ancient healers who relied solely on oral traditions, he documented every aspect of his medical expertise in a comprehensive text, the Sushruta Samhita. This ancient Sanskrit manuscript is considered the first ever textbook on surgery, detailing procedures, techniques, and medical ethics with remarkable precision. The Sushruta Samhita consists of 184 chapters and describes more than 300 types of surgeries, including rhinoplasty, nose reconstruction, cataract removal, bone setting, cesarean sections, and even brain surgeries. It also provides detailed descriptions of 120 surgical instruments, such as scalpels, forceps, needles, and cauterization tools, many of which resemble modern surgical instruments. Furthermore, it contains in-depth knowledge of human anatomy, physiology, pathology, and wound healing techniques. One of its most revolutionary aspects is its emphasis on sterilization and hygiene, recommending that surgical instruments be carefully cleaned and used under strict protocols, practices that became common in modern medicine only in the 19th century. The Sushruta Samhita was not just a medical text, but a groundbreaking work that laid the foundation for surgery as a scientific discipline. Centuries before Western medicine recognized its importance. The Art of Rhinoplasty, Ancient Plastic Surgery One of Sushruta's most remarkable contributions to medicine was rhinoplasty, or nose reconstruction surgery. In ancient India, criminals, war prisoners, and adulterers were often subjected to nose amputation as a form of punishment. 
This left many individuals disfigured and socially outcast. To restore their appearance and dignity, Sushruta devised a groundbreaking surgical technique that is still used in modern plastic surgery today. His method involved taking a flap of skin from the forehead, shaping it to resemble a nose, and carefully attaching it to the damaged area. He then created small tubes using plant materials to ensure proper airflow while the new nose took shape. The skin graft was left to heal naturally, and over time it would fuse with the nasal tissues, restoring both function and aesthetics. This technique, known today as the Indian flap method, is still a foundation of modern reconstructive surgery. Sushruta's work in plastic surgery was so advanced that centuries later, in the 18th century, British surgeons learned about this technique from Indian practitioners and adopted it into European medical practices. His pioneering work proves that ancient Indian medical science was far ahead of its time, laying the groundwork for modern surgical advancements. Eye Surgery, Removing Cataracts in 600 BCE In ancient India, blindness due to cataracts was a widespread problem, especially among the elderly. Without proper treatment, people lost their vision and became dependent on others for survival. But Sushruta, always ahead of his time, devised a surgical technique to restore eyesight, one of the earliest recorded cataract surgeries in history. He used a specialized curved needle called Jabamuki Salaka, designed to carefully extract the clouded lens from the eye. The procedure involved inserting this sharp instrument near the eye's outer layer, breaking up the cataract and gently pulling it out. After the surgery, the patient was instructed to rest in a dark room with herbal medicines applied to aid healing. This innovative method enabled many individuals to regain their vision and lead independent lives once again. Sushruta's technique was so effective that it spread beyond India. Greek, Roman, and Arab physicians learned and adapted his methods, eventually passing them into medieval European medicine. His detailed descriptions of ocular anatomy, surgical precision, and post-operative care show how advanced Indian medical science was long before modern ophthalmology. Even today, cataract surgery remains a critical procedure, with principles remarkably similar to those developed by Sushruta over 2,600 years ago. Revolutionary Surgical Tools and Techniques Sushruta was not only a skilled surgeon, but also a visionary inventor of surgical tools and techniques. At a time when most civilizations relied on crude methods for treating injuries, he meticulously designed and crafted 120 specialized surgical instruments made from stone, metal, and bamboo. These instruments included scalpels, forceps, needles, lancets, probes, and cauterization tools, each carefully shaped for specific procedures. Unlike many early healers, Sushruta understood the importance of precision in surgery. He classified his instruments based on their functions, such as Cutting tool for incisions and amputations Dissecting tools for removing damaged tissue Suturing tools for stitching wounds and closing incisions One of his most revolutionary contributions was his emphasis on sterilization. He advised surgeons to thoroughly clean instruments before and after use and recommended boiling, fumigation, and herbal antiseptics to prevent infections, concepts that modern medicine would only adopt thousands of years later. Sushruta also developed advanced wound care techniques using medicated dressings, honey, and plant extracts to promote healing and prevent scarring. His groundbreaking surgical innovations laid the foundation for modern surgical precision, hygiene, and patient care, proving that ancient Indian medical science was far ahead of its time. Training Future Surgeons – The Use of Dead Bodies Sushruta believed that surgical mastery required hands-on experience, not just theoretical knowledge. Unlike many ancient traditions that relied on guesswork, he emphasized practical training for his students, ensuring they develop precision before operating on real patients. To refine their skills, Sushruta instructed his students to practice surgical techniques on natural substitutes they used banana stems to simulate delicate incisions, gourds and pumpkins for practicing deep cuts and sutures, animal bladders to develop precision in handling fragile tissues. But his most revolutionary training method was the dissection of human cadavers. 
In many cultures, touching a dead body was considered taboo, but Sushruta understood its vital importance for learning human anatomy. He advised his students to carefully immerse corpses in water, allowing the outer layers to soften, making it easier to study muscles, veins, bones, and internal organs without damaging them. This approach was centuries ahead of its time, long before dissection became an accepted practice in Greek, Roman, and Renaissance medicine. Sushruta's insistence on practical learning and anatomical study set the foundation for modern surgical education, proving that his methods were as scientific as they were groundbreaking. The Global Influence of Sushruta's Knowledge Sushruta's revolutionary contributions to surgery did not remain confined to ancient India. They spread across the world, shaping the future of global medicine. His detailed surgical techniques and medical knowledge traveled to China, Arabia, Persia, and Greece, influencing medical traditions far beyond the Indian subcontinent. The famous Greek physician Hippocrates, circa 460 to 370 BCE, often called the father of modern medicine, is believed to have drawn inspiration from Indian surgical practices. Many concepts in Greek medical texts bear striking similarities to Sushruta's teachings on surgery, hygiene, and wound care. By the 8th century CE, Arab scholars translated the Sushruta Samhita into Arabic as Kitabe Sushruta, further spreading his knowledge to the Islamic world. The Arabs, who played a crucial role in preserving and expanding ancient medical knowledge, later introduced these surgical techniques to medieval Europe, influencing European medicine during the Renaissance. Sushruta's pioneering work laid the foundation for modern surgery, centuries before the West recognized its significance. His meticulous documentation of procedures, sterilization techniques, and human anatomy proved that ancient Indian medicine was far ahead of its time, leaving an indelible mark on the global history of medical science. Conclusion, the lost legacy and its relevance today. Sushruta's contributions to medicine were truly revolutionary, from plastic surgery and cataract removal to advanced surgical tools and medical training. His techniques were thousands of years ahead of their time. His knowledge formed the foundation of modern surgery, influencing medical practices across the world. Yet, despite his groundbreaking work, Sushruta remains largely unrecognized compared to Western medical pioneers like Hippocrates and Galen. The Sushruta Samhita was not just a medical text, it was a scientific masterpiece proving that ancient Indian knowledge was far more advanced than commonly acknowledged. Unfortunately, colonial narratives and historical biases have often overshadowed these achievements. It's time we reclaim and celebrate this lost legacy. The brilliance of ancient Indian science deserves global recognition. Do you think ancient Indian knowledge was more advanced than we realize? Comment below and let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.